Mickey's Magic Omnibus, where are we going today? It's Mickey's Magic Omnibus, what game are we gonna play? Hello! Uh, welcome to an episode of Mickey's Magic Omnibus, in which I'm taking a look at the recently released for early access Space Base DF9. This is a fortress building, base building type thing where you have your crew in space and you have to build a structures for them to live. And it's in alpha right now. I saw it on Steam. I saw it was by Double Fine Productions, who are, if you don't know, they're kind of the cool guys of game development. They're just kind of cool guys, uh, nice guys, not huge big corporation, and they just make fun games. So that got my interest for an early access game of theirs, and then I looked at this game and saw it was heavily inspired by things like Dwarf Fortress, as was Towns, um, and it's similar to them in the sense that you start with a couple of dudes and you build a base and try and get more dudes and try and help them survive and not die and fend off space pirates and that kind of jazz. Um, so I played a bit, I'm gonna play a new game for you now. Um, it is in such early alpha. Um, so there's so many things still to add and lots of things not implemented or even put into the game at all in any way that will be. I'm not sure exactly all, what they all are but you know a few things for example are power. There's a fusion reactor but it doesn't do power at the moment. You know and there are a few bugs. Um, also this starting screen apparently is going to change. But basically what I'm looking for in the top right if you can see the things are changing. I'm looking for high stellar density because that basically means how many asteroids and stuff will be nearby um, which will and it's got a very simple sort of matter as currency so if you mine an asteroid you get matter which you can use to build other things ah, average average is probably good threat factor low magnetic in, magnetic interference low warp gate proximity very close that sounds perfect uh, so yeah breakdown of things we're gonna accept deploy the basic premise is that the center of the galaxy has been destroyed, so they're sending out survival pods to start new bases, and that's how many years it takes to arrive at the location I just selected. Um, real time, guys. Real time. Okay. Immediately, I'm going to press spacebar to pause the game. And you can see here, our seed pod uh, that was sent out to start this base here. And I've got, we've got three dudes, right? We've got, we've got Gabe Miller. We've got Jeff 0095510. We've got Max Shotaish, the 24th. So let's have a look at Gabe Miller. You can click on people. Look, it comes up with a little picture. He's healthy. He's got morale. Morale is a system that's not entirely put in, but kind of has a little bit of effect so far. So the location and what they're doing. Now, duty. This is where you assign people. You know, they can either build things. They can either maintain equipment so it doesn't blow up in your face, or they can harvest matter from the asteroids. They can be security to fend off aliens, or they can be a bartender who provides libations. I, I love that description. Um, and then some basic stats, you know, a profile. Um, it says they're friends, so he's friends with Jeff and Manx, both the other guys, that's good. He's got their favourite food and their favourite band. These are kind of all randomly generated, as are the names. Names are randomly generated as well. Um, and then Space Face is the Facebook of space. Um, and you'll get little updates in here. As the game progresses, they'll po be posting things about what they think about their work, what they think about what's going on, and all that kind of stuff. It's quite fun. Of course, this will probably be fleshed out much more in further development, you know, it gets quite repetitive at the moment. Uh, but again, it's ridiculously early alpha, the first public release of the alpha. Uh, let's look at Jeff, zero, zero. He is a chicken. <laughs> Jeff is a chicken, everybody. Um, what's he got at? He's a good technician, and he's an all right builder. Good at security and bartender. Uh, that's pretty good. He could be our bartender, maybe. Um, what does he like? He likes organic beetle, too. Look, okay. Organic beetle. It's, it's no wonder that they're... Wait a second. Friends. Jeff is friends with himself, <laughs> but there you go, um, alpha everybody, um, yeah, it's still in development. Manx is apparently not friends with Gabe, although Gabe is friends with Manx, 
Um, but Manx is a kitty cat, it seems like. Manx the kitty cat. Uh, what's he good at? He's good at technician. This could be a bit of an issue, because right away what we're going to want to do is be building. Um, this is also another way you can sort of select. Basically, you click here, you say builder, builder. And Manx, you can be a builder for now as well, because at the moment we have nothing else to do. They're all terrible miners. That's going to be some. That's going to cause some issues early on. Um, but anyway, basic mode is inspect. That means you click on something and it shows you what it is. You click on something and it shows what it is. Again, roster. That's how you set people what you want their job to be. And you can sort them by you know who's good at technician, who's good at building, or just the names like that. Um, now construct. This is where you choose what you're actually going to do. What's all this? Why did I just lose all my money? Ladies and gentlemen, Alpha. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why that was a thing. I should have just hit backspace. Never mind. We'll construct a small room. Because right now, if we, if we go back and inspect them, hover over them, it says a tooltip, oxygen, 7 minutes and 56 seconds. That's how much oxygen they have left. If they run out of oxygen, they die, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to build a small room by clicking and dragging and in the it pops up showing what you can fit in this room. Now we're going to try and make a life support room which has oxygen recyclers in it. Um, so let's let's put it there and we'll get uh, six oxygen recyclers, well a room big enough for six oxygen recyclers and that tells you it's going to cost 448 bits of matter. So let's get them to do that. Also, however, we're going to need something else, and that something else is uh, they're going to need a small room for an airlock. So we'll get an airlock there, and we'll get another room um, coming off the airlock on this side, maybe, um, like this, and we'll see that that can support one matter refinery. Yep. Yeah. Right, so let's say confirm. And then if we unpause the game, eventually they'll start keep wandering around for a couple of seconds as they realize that they have a job to do. And now they're all going to build. Um and the music stopped, which is a shame. <laughs> yeah, so they're they're all going about their jobs and uh what we can do is we can speed up the time. We are low on matter, yeah. We'll need to mine some things with our terribly low skills at mining. But yeah, let's, let's speed up the game a bit there. And I'm going to try and see if I can uh, get the music. Nope, the music's just stopped. Alpha, ladies and gentlemen, the music just stops. But you can hear them, you can hear them buzzing away. And the graphics are actually quite nice. Um, they're going in super speed, building up the little rooms that we need to survive. Um, so let's check their oxygen. They got six minutes left at least, so that should be enough time to get all this built. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll just start dying, and this will be a terrible beginning. To uh, oh, your base has no oxygen supply. I will do. I will. I will zone some rooms. They can't go in the base without a functioning airlock. Yep. And Jeff, the chicken man, has got better at building. You see, as they do things, they'll get better at things. They sort of level up a bit as well. Gabe seems to be a bit stuck there. Uh, unzoned area. Okay. By just clicking on an empty room, like this one. Oh, no, not, not Gabe. I want to click on the room he's in. Can I, can I not... Uh... Oh, I'm clicking on that one. Okay. I can't... Uh... Wait. Let's cut away the walls. And then we can more easily select that one. Okay, so that one we want to be the airlock. This one, life support. And this one, the refinery. Okay. Now... We'll need to construct some doors. Which you go to objects, doors, airlocks. Stick one in there, and one in there. And actually, this is a mistake because I should have built a corridor entrance way. But never mind, uh, let's just build airlocks everywhere. <laughs> okay, now also, we're going to build uh, some more objects. In the life support one, we're going to select the oxygen recycler. And we're just going to build one for now because we do not have much matter. <laughs> um, 
And in fact, we're going to need a... Uh, can I sup... I can't build a refinery. Oh dear! Um, yeah. This is going to be issues. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, can I cancel that? No, I can't cancel it. We are very low on that matter. Problem is, right, I can use the mine tool to mine some of this asteroid. And I'll set Manx to go mine it, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's set Manx and Gabe to go mine the stuff. Oh, we also need something else. Oh, this is... I've just completely failed this. <laughs> I need one of these as well. Or else they can't take off their suits. They're all gonna die, guys. They're all gonna die. Um, I've screwed the pooch. <laughs> Big time. Well, no, I didn't, but it's because of that bug, actually, that lost me all the matter. See, if... Th okay, the bug has meant that uh, I'm gonna have to mine away this room. Um, yeah. And let's, let's demolish that as well. That'll give me 168. Um, and that should let me do 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 do. Well, once they do that, uh, who's who's on the building thing? It's this guy, Jeff. Jeff, go destroy all this so that we can uh, build a new wall <laughs> like that. Um, oof. um, I think they're all gonna die. <laughs> because of the bug which cost me all of the matter at the beginning. Um, let's go into normal time and just... Uh, these guys... Because see... Yeah, they've mined a square each, but because there's no refinery... Uh, they can't do anything with it. So I'm going to set them to build so they demolish the stuff quicker as well. I don't have any miners. The doors are exposed to vacuum... They can't go in, in the, without a functioning airlock, which needs a suit locker. Yeah. Uh, just drop, demolish. Let's get rid of all this. Confirm. Okay. I think I've got enough to build a uh, suit locker right now, though. Do do do. Airlock. Suit locker. Okay. Um. The, there's oxygen in the base, though. Is there? Oh no, there's not. There's there's no oxygen in the base because there's a big hole in the base. There's oxygen in the airlock. Oh dear. <laughs> the one place where there doesn't need to be oxygen necessarily. And there's oxygen there. Okay guys, uh, speed speed it up. Speed it up. We need you to go to, to get this stuff done. Come on, get me get me two Yes! Okay. I have enough to build a refinery. Oh boy, okay. It's worked. It, everything... Oh, and that gave me loads of matter, actually. Okay. Uh, why are they just wandering around? Go build the space doors. Why aren't they going to build the space doors? They're gonna die. They are literally gonna die. Slow down. Um, what's wrong? What is wrong? Oxygen, oxygen. There's a there's not a space thingy, but that's because they're not building it. Um, they are all gonna die, I think. <laughs> I think I may have to just do this recording again because this doesn't display the game very well. This just shows that if you get shafted with a bug and it takes all your matter, you die. They are they are all gonna die. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it will tell me I lose. Oh. I have room aboard my base for more people. We've got some people who've joined us. Excellent. Okay, so everyone else just died. You guys are the builders. Finish building. Oh, they're all dead. They just float there. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of dead bodies yet, so... Dead people tend to just float there. Why aren't they going and building things? Hmm. Um.
Um, what if I demolish this wall? Um, confirm. Why are there... What are all these holes in the base? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so make a hole and then build that thing. And then rebuild the wall. Excellent. Excellent. Now everything should work. <laughs> Alright, so now they should be able to go in the base. Can you guys go in the base and finish building this? Yeah? They're building something. What are they building? Oh, they're building the doors. Apparently. Are they? I'm confused as to what they're actually building right now. But look, they're inside and they're in the little uniforms. Let's look at them. Juan Dent. Oh look there, here's, here's the Facebook thing. First day on a new base. I feel vulnerable out here in space. With three dead bodies floating around. <laughs> um, a new Mattery Refinery. Excellent. Okay. Now let's uh, switch Ever mm, was ever mm, ever mm, um, is going to go mine this stuff, and now everything is okay, guys. It's all crisis over. Only three people died. It's not that big a deal, right? Uh, it is quite a big a deal. Two space beds, four space beds. Eight space beds. That'll that'll do for now. Oh wait, no, we can't build that much. <laughs> Let's uh, construct another oxygen recycler. Yeah. That seems like a good use of our time. I think, yeah, excellent. We'll get you to build a, uh, like a, just a space in the middle there. And then we can put some doors between these places so they don't have to go through the airlock every time they want to get out. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, we'll build around the dead bodies, I think, for now. <laughs> so yeah, this is a... Uh, Space Base DF9. Um, Eva is entering the base. She's going to use the refinery to convert the uh, asteroid she's just mined into matter for us. Uh, while Juan Dent uh, builds this little room that's going to connect them together a bit more efficiently. Um, so yeah, this is this is the basic what you're doing at the moment. At the moment, long-term gameplay, you don't get much. Um, you, it's basically you get more people and there are more derelict, derelict ships appear so you can kind of explore them and there might be pirates appearing and you get more um, people looking for somewhere to live so you can just keep growing by mining asteroids with the refineries building more oxygen recyclers because each uh, of these machines produces oxygen for three people so we've got two out of six we can have six people maximum on our base and we've got two because three people are dead <laughs> And uh, something else they'll want us to build soon. After we build some doors, a normal door in each of these, um, is they'll want some bedrooms. Oops. They'll want some bedrooms. So I think, you know, I'm feeling uh, luxurious. We'll give them a bedroom each. One space bed. What's the smallest room we can build? Yep. Okay. So one room for one of them, and a room for the other one. Oh, I can. I could just manage both those rooms. All right. What are they both doing? Oh, well, there's Juan and there's Eva. All right then. He's going out into space in order to build outside. 
Now the, the purple outline just means they're not in the room, it means they're like behind the space station or above or below it or whatever. An incoming ship has been spotted. Cool. Maybe there'll be more people to live in our base of wonder. Is Eva mind? No, she's Eva's just, or Eva or whatever you want to say, is just doing some working out. She's just getting fit, you know? Uh, when you're in space, you have to keep that cardio muscle stuff because there's no gravity. So if you want to stay fit, you got to do like weird exercises and stuff. Okay, so Eva will mine some more matter so we can build more stuff. And we're going to turn these rooms um, into bedrooms for Eva and Juan. Greetings and salutations. It's the, this is just a picture pending at the moment. All the incoming ships will look like chickens, despite not having chickens on them. Do you have good defense aboard? We have journeyed for too long without proper rest. We no longer want to travel. We had your surplus matter. Why are they asking about our defenses? You seem a little shifty. They could be space pirates. Hmm. You know, if they're space pirates, that makes it more interesting. I can show you off more of the game. If they're not space pirates, we get more people. So let's do it for now. <laughs> we will do stuff. Okay, so they seem they seem legit. They are legit. Excellent. Okay, so what are they good at? We got Panyachi. Who is Panyachi? Where's Panyachi? Uh, he's not very good at anything. <laughs> Excellent. Andy Horvath on the other hand with his slightly bemused face. He's a good builder, so let's get him building. And we may as well... Uh, Panya Chi is not good at anything, man. Anything useful, anyway. Security and bartender, we don't need those yet. We have no pirates, or... We don't have a pub, so we can't get him making drinks for everyone. Um, what shall I go? I'll get him to be the miner. Another miner. May as well. Hopefully he'll get better fast without dying. That would be a, a big shame if he were to just die. Okay. Hmm. One thing, we'll need to build some more bedrooms for these guys who just arrived. I'm not sure where I'll build them. Th this is a terrible looking base by the way. Y you should not build your base like this if you actually get this game and enter into the early access opportunities. Um, yeah, I think as it develops, um, I might, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to keep playing it. Um, and when there are new, if there's a big update or something, or you know, it, get, it gets closer to sort of a, a final product. At the moment, you know, there isn't much long-term gameplay. Uh, it does get a bit I, because I, I, I played with the first base, and, you know, it got a bit stagnant. Although the bugs made it interesting. The bugs did make it interesting. <laughs> I had uh, my bartender, for some reason, decided to fly out into space and just kept going. He just kept flying away. Um, and because he was the bartender, you know, that meant that no one was making drinks for everyone. So everyone got really upset because they didn't have any drinks. And he just kept flying off into space, and eventually his oxygen ran out, and he died. This sent a couple of people who were friends with him and who liked his cocktails into a panic and uh, that was the morale system I guess kicking in and they started going kind of a bit crazy, they didn't do any work, they were just stood still and unfortunately two of those people who started panicking were also in space so they just hovered in space, gradually running out of oxygen and they died too. So I lost until about I think three people because my bartender just decided he wanted to go on holiday Maybe he got drunk on uh, all the drinks he was making and just, just decided, you know what, I can survive in space. I'm just going to go off and uh, fly into space and, and make cocktails for the space monkeys that talk to me in my dreams. M who knows? W we will never know why he did that. But um, what I'll do now cancel, uh, is uh, make these into some residences. And uh, we're gonna go construct and build some beds for them. So we can fit one bed in each room. F to flip round. Confirm. Alright, it's 
uh, he's making the door excellent. Andy's just working out. Go on, Andy. Look, look at that. Look at them jumping jacks. You go, Andy. You go. Oh, that's Juan. Oops. I like the fact that we do just have a couple of. Uh, they didn't put a window there, obviously, <laughs> for good reason. Let's mine out a bit more of this asteroid, um, so that uh, Eva and Panya Chi. Oh, Panya Chi is playing a handheld game. What is that game? It looks a bit like a Wii U controller. Oh, and Andy's playing as well. I wonder if they're playing together. Let's see what happens. Uh, is he talking about his, his gaming? He's not talking about the game. I have so much energy right now. I feel like I could, like I could take on the world. Oh, he just broke his personal sit-ups record. Good for you, Andy. Good for you. Um, I think, you know, that this is a very small idea. So we've got a couple of beds for people to sleep in if they need rest. If I wanted, I at the moment you can't make them personal rooms, so you can't say this is Andy's room. Uh, I reckon that might be something that's added, maybe. One thing you can do is, uh, you can name rooms, of course. Oh, you can name doors, you can name beds. Uh, so we can call this, we can call this, um, Andy's room. But that doesn't mean it's, um, Andy's room. Uh, but, you know, so if we, if we click on the room, it's Andy's room. If we click on, uh, you can also name people. So we click on Juan, we can call him Juan Dent, or we can call him Juan Carlos the Spanish king. Um, so you, you can name people which is, I think, I think that's an excellent thing in any game. As soon as you can name your dudes, you just, you just get more attached to them, I think. Um, ooh, we've got another starship coming in. From the Vorpulon Quadrant. Uh, they make the best nutrient paste out there. Yeah, cool. They haven't had any nutrient paste for 10,000 years because they've been cryogenically frozen. Awesome, we got a new, we got two new people, which means we're at capacity now. We're sleeping on the floor because there aren't enough beds. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I think that, that this sort of shows off what the game is. What the hell? Oh my god, there's a, what is this? There's a parasite. Um, okay, this has never happened before. Security. Um, you'd be a minor. Wait, did... Wait a second. What happened to the other guy? Did someone just die? Let's pause the game. Um, Juan Carlos... Puppet? It's not a puppet, Juan Carlos! It's a... <gasps> is that... Is that... Is Panyachi dead? Panyachi is dead! Panyachi, I think, was killed by the parasite.